everybody, I'm Danielle McCartan here with Ron Blumberg, the first MLB DH in, in history. So I'm sitting here with a legend here at Yankee Stadium for the Mint Pros uh, Sweet Games here. First of all, i got to ask you, being here back with the 1977 team, all the guys here, what is it like to be back with all these guys, meeting all these fans, reminiscing? Well, you know, it's really incredible because it's almost like 40 years ago. But it's, it's great to be part of this organization, and it's great to be part of uh, uh, the Yankee dynasty, and, and to be able to sit down and see your friends, and I, I see them doing the offseason an awful lot, but uh, they're our brothers. It's, it's a brotherhood, and it's, it's great to be part of the Yankees, and great to be part of uh, the organization, and that's why I'm up here helping Joe. And now Joe is honoring the, the 77 World Series team. It's, it's a special event here today. Has anybody come up with you with a, with a story back from 77? Yeah, but you don't want to hear it. You know, I mean, you, we, you, you really can't say it. But, uh, uh, but you know, a lot of people will come up, you know, uh, to you. And, you know, I, unfortunately, uh, I became in the Hall of Fame, the back door, being the first DH in Major League history. And I screwed up the game of baseball in 73. And I'm very, very proud of it. And, and but it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a great to be part of uh, the game. And, that's one thing they can never take away from me. I was a first in something, and, and being the first DH, it, it's, it's a great honor. Now, how did that position even like come about? Well, basically, it's a it's it's a pinch hitter. It's yeah. it's a glorified pinch hitter. And in '73, and uh, I hurt myself down in spring training, and and uh, the DH uh, was uh, uh, just uh, adopted in because. Uh, they needed some more attendance, and uh, they wanted to really uh, spruce up the game of baseball and to put a lot of more offense in the game. And I had no idea what it was. Nobody knew what it was, basically. And I, I never thought it was going to stay in baseball uh, for six months. But now it's it's almost 43 years, and uh, people don't realize how you know. I mean, it's 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 the highest paid position player in the game of baseball, and. Uh, I was a first. They put my name uh, in the lineup. And I became the first as a, uh, a retread because I uh, injured myself in spring training. And, and uh, instead of playing right field, I was a DH. And that's I made my uh, fame to history in that way. And then the, the NL still sticking with the pitchers batting. Oh, yeah. Do you think but, they should switch over? Oh, they switch over, but they never will. That's why 50% of the people love it, 50% of the people hate it. Yeah. And that's why it's always going to be a very controversial thing. But no, the National League's never going to uh, adapt it. You know, I mean, they, it, it will never. They, they'll never have it, and uh, uh, they should because the DH is great. I mean, it's really uh, enhanced a lot of uh, uh, older ball players. And and you look at Derek Jeter. What you know, in the last couple of years, he became the DH, and and it helped uh, the Yankees an awful lot. You know, being the DH. Yeah. No. Back, going back to 77 now, it was, it was a, an uncertain time, the Son of Sam murders, all the political, whatever. Did any of that make its way into the clubhouse, or you guys kept that all out? Oh, yeah, I lived in Riverdale, and Son of Sam lived in Yonkers. And, you know, he would pass my house every morning, you know, to kill somebody. Oh you know, I mean, you know, we thought, uh, you know, we, we joked about it. I mean, you know, living in Riverdale, going down to the stadium, and, and seeing uh, uh, on the paper that Son of Sam did this and that and whatever, and we, we always joked about it. And it wasn't a joking matter, but, you know, we always was, well, what would you do if he was your neighbor? And he was my neighbor. And, uh, and uh, you know, thank God he's still in uh, uh, Sing Sing, I believe. And uh, I hope he stays there for a long, long time. And uh, But we had some characters on the team, uh, you know, and uh, we probably said something, but, you know, I don't remember, but uh, we had some crazy times. Now, you guys had a lot of nicknames. The Count, uh, Mick the Quick, uh, the Gator, Louisiana Lightning, all these nicknames. How did, like, why? <laughs> like, how did they come about? And, you know, that's, that's so strange. Well, you know, hey, you know, when you're an athlete, you know, a lot of guys, you know, uh, uh, with, with Mick the Quick, you know, I mean, he was uh, he was a leadoff hitter, and he was the best leadoff hitter, I thought, in the game of baseball. Yeah. Uh, Louisiana Light, then it was uh, uh, Guidry, and he's from Louisiana. Uh, we had, you know, uh, uh, you know, the Count, you know, we had Sparky, you know, uh, 
Uh, we just had different names with different people. You know, I mean, it was just, you know, I mean, we had those things. That's why they called us the Bronx Zoo, because we had some crazy people in 77. And, but, you know, hey, then you had, you know, uh, Reggie, you had Miss October. And, uh, you know, I mean, so, you know, it, it, it was fun to be part of an, uh, a team like that because we had so diverse uh, different personalities. Uh, the best part about it was the fighting every single day. We had fights in the uh, uh, in the clubhouse every single day. We fought in the clubhouse, went out in the uh, field, and we won. That's how you win, and that's how we played. That's, that's incredible. Now, if you could give a current uh, nick, a nickname to a current or an iconic Yankee, who would it be, and what would it be? Uh, you know what? I think... Uh, 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 you know what, I gotta say, maybe Aaron Judge, because he's being so big and so tall, and uh, everybody call him the Judge. Uh, I would call him uh, uh, maybe uh, the Loch Ness Monster, being so big. You know, yeah, maybe being so big. And, uh, and you know what, I, I have watched him a couple of times, and I hope he stays like that, and, and I hope he stays very, very humble, because the people in New York are so great, and they, they need some uh, body to, 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 to uh, really to stabilize this team and to have a foundation, and, and I hope the Yankees will build upon this, and, and the Loch Ness Monster will be there for many, many years. Hope so. Everybody hopes so. Now, we'll end with, what is your single theme, uh fondest memory with the New York Yankees? You had to pick one. You know what? I think in 1973, in August, I was hitting 406 through August, and unfortunately, I got put on the disabled list for a couple of weeks, and I pulled a hamstring. And I remember I had a 32-game hitting streak, and I remember not playing for two weeks, and it was killing me. And I remember when I got put off the disabled list, the Yankees uh, told me to pinch hit. Billy Martin told me to pinch hit. When I went to pinch hit before I even got up on deck and going uh, in the batter's box, I had about 50,000 people stand up to cheer me. So I think the people in New York, you know, they're my families. And, you know, and, and being a Jew living up in New York City, it was the best because I, I think I've eaten more corned beef and pastrami and canishas than any place in the world. So, great. All right, well, I'm Daniel McCartan. This is Ron Blumberg. Thank you very much. And show, we'll get a flash of the ring. Check that out.